Crafters. This is Georgia Lane with Creative Moments by G. So happy you could join me today. We are working on a cute little slider pocket that you can put some apple cider in for a secret Santa, maybe a table favor at your Thanksgiving family dinner. Look how cute this is. Isn't that cute? And then all you have to do to get the cider out, lift up, and then it goes right back down. So excited to make this. So let's head over to the crafting table and let's get started. So today we're going to be working with the Cup of Christmas stamp set and die set. It has some wonderful stamps in it that I think you'll really enjoy. Sending you a cup of cheer, sweet Christmas wishes, Merry Christmas, enjoy, yum. We are going to be using this stamp set and die set to make this cute little slider packet for your apple cider. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, I just think this is so cute. So let's get started. Now, this is on page 34 of our holiday catalog. First, let's go over the dimensions that you're going to need. You're going to need a half a piece of regular size paper. So that will be five and a half by eight and a half. We're gonna score this later. We'll need three panels and the panel measurements are two and a fourth by four and three fourths. You're gonna need two of those and then you're gonna need a larger panel and the large one is three and a fourth by four and three fourths. You're also going to need to cut out some circles. You can use your punch to cut out these circles and we used two and one fourth and then a two and a half inch circle. You'll cut out your little cup of cheer and then you're gonna go ahead and cut out this little peppermint even though we're gonna chop it off because we're gonna use it as a cinnamon stick. So let's get to scoring. That's the first thing that you have to do. We're going to use our new trimmer to do our scoring for us and we're going to take this half sheet of paper and we're going to score it two and a half and then six, six inches. So take it on the long side of the paper, which is eight and a half, and you're going to go out two and a half. Make sure that you're using your scoring tool. Score it. Then you're gonna move it over and you're gonna score it at six. And then we need to have our little base part. So we're simply gonna turn it, and now we're going to score it on either side. You can pick the side you want, just half an inch. And that's gonna give us our little tab at the bottom. Okay, so we have our score lines here and then our bottom piece so that our packet doesn't fall out. The next thing we wanna do before we go ahead and fold it is we want to get our panels on. So we have designer series paper that we're using and we wanna make sure our paper's all turned the same way. So that's why I'm making sure that it's turned the same way. We're going to use our glue and we're just using some wet glue so that we have some time to move it around. We want to get it close to the edge so that when we have our packet it doesn't the panel doesn't come up so we're not going to put the panel down here where we scored it just on this part so just look where it's scored and put it right in the middle make sure you push it down to get a good attachment going on okay now that we have this glued down can you see where we have it scored 
and we also have it scored continue down here we don't need these little boxes right here so we are going to cut them completely off so just cut on the score line right up to the other score line and cut it off okay so we are going to just cut a little bit of the end off so that when we fold it up there won't be a lot of bulk and there we have it now some people fold theirs up and put it on the outside I don't like to do that I like to have my flap on the inside so what I need to do is I need to get my tear and tape and I need to put it right here Just put a little bit I love this tear and tape and then we're gonna decide how are we gonna fold it I think I'm gonna fold mine this way with this one on the top so I need to put some tear and tape right here as well as on the bottom because we don't want it coming apart just going to put a little bit on the bottom, turn it over, a little more on the bottom. We're going to burnish it so it really gets a good hold on that paper. Then we're going to use our little pick. We're just going to pick this off. Okay, we have everything ready to go. Now, I'm going to lay this one down, line it up, lay this one on top exactly where I want it. And now we have our little pocket. Isn't that cute? What we need to do now is punch a hole right here in the top. I'm going to punch the hole and I'll be right back. Okay, so we have our hole punched. What we need to do now is decide what kind of string we're going to use. We're going to go ahead and get that put together and then we'll do the top part. Now what I like to use, I like to use curling ribbon. I just think it's so festive and really makes a statement. You can of course use any quarter inch ribbon that you choose and you need to make sure that it is about 20 inches long. We're going to double it. We're going to put it through our holes. Let's see, let's make sure both of them get through there. And we're going to line it up, both of them up, and just pull them like this, okay? Now get your apple cider, and all you have to do now that you have them even, evenly distributed on either side, right? Just slide it in and it pushes your ribbon down. Oh, isn't that neat? And then all you have to do is tie your curling ribbon. So we're just going to do this and then look what happens. You pull it up, out it comes. Push it back in, it's like magic, right? Now what we're going to do, cut these off just a little bit because they're a little long. And then when I curl curling ribbon, I always go with the grain, the way it naturally wants to curl. Because that seems to make the best curl. And there we have that first part. Now we're going to make our top part. <laughs> and remember I said that we punched out some circles. We also punched out our cup with any die cut machine that you have. 
We have our little peppermint stick, but we know we're going to use it for a cinnamon stick. So we're just going to put that. We cut it off. And now we're going to use our stamp set. Now we used Cajun Craze to stamp our little message on our cup. And because I'm right-handed, I'm going to use the right hand side and I'm just going to use a piece of scratch paper to go ahead and stamp on to make sure that I don't get it on my nice table. So let's just stamp off and make sure that it's good. Oh yeah, see I need a little more. Okay. Now you probably notice that I have my acrylic block turned diagonal. There's a little trick to that. The reason I turn it diagonal is that when it's straight, sometimes I'm trying to line up my block when I stamp and I, I miss the stamp so it ends up being a little crooked. This way I'm focusing on my stamp set and I really work hard to get it straight. Just a little trick that I use. Next, we're going to get our old olive because we have our little, our little green leaves that we're just going to stamp at the top just for another added touch. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> now, we've decided to put everything on dimensionals because I think it being raised just gives that added touch and we're using our dimensionals we love our dimensionals so we're just gonna put let's see let's just put three on this back and we're gonna put four on the bigger one to make sure that it really is sturdy when you put it on this packet we're going to take this one off first. Okay, I'm going to put it, just center it on your cutout. Now we're going to also put him up. And now we're going to just put our dimensionals on the side right here. And maybe one on the bottom. Because remember, we need to put our little cinnamon stick right through here. Okay. okay. Now another little touch we're going to use, we're just going to use a glitter pen and we're just going to sparkle up just the word. So we're just going to go over the writing just a little bit to sparkle it and then maybe just a little bit on the leaves down here a little bit there you go now we need to take our covers off our dimensionals on the back Place it on the front of our card, like so. And there we have it. Look at that. This is the one that we created earlier. We also created this one. I think they turned out so cute. And if you put this on your Thanksgiving table, I think your family would have so much fun and be so surprised at what's inside this little pocket. What do you think? Well, thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my next video. And if you're interested in purchasing any of the Stampin' Up! products I used today, they'll be linked in the description below with all the project measurements. 
I would love for you to join my team and become a Sunflower Stamper. And guess what? Once you join, you get 20% off your orders. So go to my website, www.creativemomentsbyg.com and click on the $99 Sunflower to join. Thanks again so much for watching. And remember, I'm wishing you a Sunflower Day, bright, sunny, and happy.